Hey guys, Brad here. Just want to give you a quick look at what's new in the Media Files add-on version 1.3 and the new CLI add-on version 1.1. So to start, I'm just going to take a look at what the Media Files uh, was like before. Um, we've completely rewritten the add-on, so it's brand new. Um, and so in the past, when you'd run a migration and you'd, you wanted to compare the remote and local media files and maybe even remove the media files on the remote site that are not found on the local site and, or vice versa, it would just kind of spin there. So let's, let's run this here, this migration. I'm only migrating like one little table just so that it kind of skips that and goes right to the media files migration part. So let's run it and you'll see that it just kind of sits here and it'll sit here for several seconds. Uh, well, actually it'll, it could sit here for minutes. It really depends on your, your media files or, and your, the size of your media library. Uh, in some web hosts, uh, in some configurations, uh, this was timing out and so you just get an error here or a 502 gateway error or something. And so we had to kind of rethink the way we, we did this whole, pro, uh, this whole process and procedure. <clears throat> so, uh, like I said, we rewrote most of the plugin, uh, most of the add-on. And so instead of sitting here, uh, you're going to see that it kind of batches um, the comparison and it shows you the progress of the comparison. And then it, it, uh, it'll... Uh, migrate the media files, you know, in batches as well. So it's a lot kind of a more kind of strategic process than than this kind of Hail Mary process that we had in this version, in this old version here that I'm showing you. Uh, so let's take a look at the new the new version net right now. Okay, so I've upgraded to the new version of the add-on of the media files add-on. And so if I go in here, I mean, the UI is the same. There's no differences here. Uh, but let's run this migration again. And you'll see immediately you've got two progress scars now. And we're jumping ahead 500 attachments at a time, comparing them. And then it determined which ones uh, needed to be uploaded, uploaded them. And so you really get a, a lot more feedback now. You, you get those two different progress bars and it's a much smoother process and it, it seems to be a bit faster as well which is a nice bonus so that's that's the new media files add-on okay and now let's take a look at the cli add-on we set the bar pretty low with the very first release of the cli add-on so and we kind of stumble our way through uh, its design so you can see that this is this is the original command uh, so you're supposed to put in WP, then WP MDB, and then migrate, and then just the profile ID. Uh, so you had to go into the UI and actually set up a profile. Uh, and then the help, we didn't have any. There was no help. It was just really basic. Um, and if you, so if we go ahead and run a, a migration, uh, the old fashioned with the old version, it, you also get no feedback. It just sits here until the migration is complete and then it says success, <laughs> it's done. Uh, there were also some problems with error feedback. Errors may occur and weren't displayed. And so we, we set out to you know, make it a lot better uh, in version 1.1. There, so see, that's what it looks like when your migration is successful in the old version. So let's update to the new version. So I've updated everything there. Now, we've changed this to be a little bit more, uh, more pronounceable, I guess you could say. Instead of saying WP, WPMDB as the, the command, you say WP and then migrate DB, and then profile, and then the profile ID or push, and then a bunch of other options, or pull, and then some other options. And if you just click, uh, if you just 
type in the command, you can see here the different usage uh, options that there are. And we also have full help uh, with, you know, lots more information about each command. So if you wanted to know about uh, a bit more about pull, you could type that in and you get lots of basically an entire man page uh, with all the descriptions of all the options for each command or each sub command. So let's go ahead and try running a migration. Uh, so let's run a push. So WP migrate DB push. And then we want to put in the URL that we're pushing to. And that's the URL. And then I want to input the secret key. And then I want to do a find uh, the URL of my local install. And then I want to replace that with the URL on the destination. And we only want to include uh, a couple tables. So let's do WP comments and WP comment meta. And let's do a media files migration as well. So I we want to compare and remove any files that don't exist on the remote install that's on the local install. And so if we run that, see what happens here. So it's uploading files. So it's, it's migrated the tables very quickly. So we only had two tables to migrate. And then it's uploaded the files that it found that were missing. Uh, and then at the end here, it's removing files that were not found on the local site. And then reports a success. So as you can see, it's a lot more um, a lot more feedback when you run a migration from the command line now. So that's pretty nice. So that's about it. That's what's new in the media files add-on and the new CLI add-on. Thanks everybody.